Hello you guys, this is a short introduction to the usage of projector software alignment and blending which I use and uh, in this case I'm using three projectors and uh, onto a curved screen for my flexing. This is far from finished so that's why only this shell is built for the moment because it's huge overhaul. Anyhow I will show you quickly how the software works. So this is now when the three projectors are just in surround mode and the colors are not as they should be because I haven't set them up per correctly for the projectors but that's not the issue. So the software I use is called Fly Elise Immersive Display. And to activate it I just uh, install it. It was very simple, straightforward and you can even try out for yourself. It doesn't cost anything to use it as trial mode. Here you can see it immediately went into the mode where I have already altered the alignments. But you can still see the edges right there but anyhow you can pretty much see what the point is with this alignment software you get a seamless screen or a picture with many different projectors and it's very easy to set up so this is the main window here immersive display pro I have selected uh, the three projectors in a verti uh, sorry, hor horizontal alignment and for this I just selected the desktop warping so now the desktop is also warped but it says unregistered version since I had a trial mode and, and uh, I haven't configured it yet. So to make more in depth here is the first step. You set up the projectors by clicking on the right hand button and then you select how many projectors you have like so three times one or one times three depending on vertical or horizontal that's what you start with there are also preferences that you can uh, select here start with application when windows started of course i prefer that one or the start just to warping like it did just now, starting minimized and so on and so on. Uh, there are also a few extras if you're running uh, FSX or prepared or even FS9, it crops the edges. You can also remove the window frame from prepared, and you can also skip to warp uh, the child windows, like uh, if you have FMCs or stuff like that. You can also select if you want a certain kind of a preserved back buffer, but I have left those open. Or you can even disable DirectX 9, 10, 11 or OpenGL if you like. Auto run, I have nothing here and exclude, I haven't got into that yet. This is basically how it works and here you can set a number of quick buttons to choose what you want to do if you want to enable or disable by quick buttons that's up to your choice on displays you just selected this one and when you want to configure something you either select here set one set two you can select many different sets but i use one of course then just configure goes into this mode the screen i have here is just as it was before but then again my projector screens looks like this so this is now the window where you can uh, do many kind of adjustments in this case I have warp setup and I have preloaded a picture that I've chosen just to see how it looks more or less in, in the picture mode but from this you can uh, drag this setup window where you can do most of the things 
let's put it over here so we can see. Uh, geometry, that's probably the first one, and this is the more, most, uh, in my opinion, the best point to start. Of course, here I have chosen uh, warping and uh, blending and control points and so on. You can select also control lines and panorama 360 but I don't have those so I haven't chosen them. Anyhow for me it has been the most easiest thing to select uh, from this. You can load whatever you like for a background so you can see how it looks like like this for instance. Test image. But I prefer, I prefer uh, checkerboard with numbers. This is a very convenient one. Due to the fact that it goes from 1 at the left to 32 in the right. And uh, from the bottom up it's different colors so it's very easy for you to see how it works. Anyhow, here you can select how many control points you want, vertical and horizontal. Between 3 and 6 is very fine, that's up to your choice. And in this case it's very easy to do, but it, this is maybe the most time consuming uh, part of the whole project. You select either single point, you can move a single point anywhere. Anyhow, a row, column, all, or even rotate them, depending on what your screen is or what your setup is made of. If we select now geometry single point, like so, as you can see here between lines 11 and 12, this is not really aligned, so what I can do here is uh, there, I will move this a bit further. You can see that the, the dots get green when I move them. I have now selected projector 1. Projector 2 is in the middle and projector 3 is at the right hand side. If I now move this one, I can move it freely. So depending on what I want it to look like or stretch it or align it, I can do so, and uh, if I want to move that number 11 up or down like so, it's very easy. So now I just move it like so, and it's more or less aligned. I go to the green one there, or around the blue one, and then we take down that last one also, so we get it more or less aligned. This is quite time consuming, but it's well worth worth doing because this will make your sim really come alive when you get these aligned. But I will not get more into that because this is something you have to do per your own setup. So you just select this window, I can drag it over to this side and select projector number 3 and now I can move the lines here like so to align that one and so on and you can choose to align a whole column if that's your case or anyhow. So uh, how to save this? Well there are for instance here in this window you can also save it, copy projector setup if you have one and uh, and also you can save it, it's down here, add to history and you can reset the picture, you can move it from left to right and so on. I won't be doing that right now but anyhow there are many options, you can check it out. Move to the next step. 